Um, let me do, let me by the way give you some hint on doing one question in your homework set because uh, I think in my announcement I said something like all the questions are easy if you know the right way to do it, right? Yes, <laughs> so um, this is one of those questions where if, uh, or you know, the, the implied is that some of the questions can be difficult if you try to do it the wrong way. <laughs> and this is one of those questions where you could try to do it the wrong way and spend a lot of time doing the algebra. Let me give you a quick uh, hint that's a kind of an algebra hint. So it says, you know, what is the velocity of an electron that has some relativistic momentum? So you say, all right, so uh, the momentum of the electron is gamma mv, right? And the wrong thing to do here is to say, all right, I'm looking for velocity, so I want to solve this for velocity. So you put in uh, gamma in terms of v. You write in, you know, mv over square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, and then you go through a bunch of more algebra to solve it for v. You can totally do that, you'll get the correct answer. But what I'll tell you now is that there is a way to do it even more quickly than that way. You can save yourself a lot of algebra. If you notice a very simple fact, this is the very simple fact that it took me a long, I, I'll tell you, it wasn't until I was teaching special relativity for like second or third semester that I realized that. When you take this uh, expression, the ratios of momentum and energy gives you some quantities very simply. Imagine this, I'm going to take momentum, magnitude of momentum, <coughs> divided by the correct factor, um, divided by I guess E divided by C, divided by E divided by C. Then this is uh, gamma mv, gamma mv divided by uh, gamma mc. What this combination does is it cancels out gamma. So you never actually really have to solve for gamma here. Gamma m cancels out and you get V over C. This is an often <laughs> underappreciated fact that if you know momentum and energy, then you can figure out the velocity, you know, as a fractional speed of light, by just simply taking the ratio of them. Now here you run into a slight bit of an issue that you are only given the momentum and you are not given the energy. Well, then it's just one more step. Just one more step of, um, did I erase that? I erased it. So the thing that I erased, let me rewrite it, is the energy momentum relationship, which says that energy squared is equal to mc squared squared plus momentum c squared. So if you know momentum of a particle with a known mass, then you don't need a gamma or v. You can calculate energy directly from this energy momentum relationship. So here, and this is how I did it in the solution, <laughs> is you can first compute the energy, you know, using this. So I need the energy, which will be square root of um, electron mass times C squared squared plus the momentum. Um, that's the number I copied. Um, so in the Ofram alpha format, it's going to be 2.6 times 10 to minus 21 kilogram meter per second uh, times C squared. Let's see if uh, it understood me correctly first. In incompatible units, that doesn't sound right. Uh oh, I know why. All right, so it's telling me that is the energy. So from what I have there, so I take the momentum, 
divided by that energy over C that ought to give me the um, yeah, so momentum, which was this, minus 21 kilogram meter per second. divided by energy, gets divided again by C. That'll give me a number as a, yeah, I'll, I'll start out with a fraction of um, speed of light. So it gives me the fraction of speed of light, 0 0.9945 whatever. Oh wait, is that what it was asking? Don't know. Oh yeah, it was asking in terms of fraction of speed of light. So 0 0.99, let's say 45. 0 0.9945, and let's hope that's the correct answer. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so that saves a lot of algebra. So you know, your numbers will be different. It's randomly generated. But the, the thing I wanted to point out is really this relationship, this relationship between momentum and energy. That um, rather than writing this out and then doing a bunch of algebra to solve for V, it can be a lot quicker to exploit this relationship.